Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Call of Duty Vanguard video. It's been quite a long time since we made a video on this game. Hell, it's been a while since I made a video here on the channel in general, but we finally have some good news, a new update to discuss, and I think it's really good for Vanguard. In fact, I think it's something that could be a good precedent for the Call of Duty franchise going forward. So with yesterday, April 7th's update to Vanguard, they made it so the long shot requirements for Atomic Camo have been essentially cut in half. Straight up 50%, it goes from a challenge of 100 long shots to a challenge of 50 long shots on most weapons. Now, of course, there are some outliers out there like the Bren, for example, where you have to get 50 long shots with a bunch of different attachments. But prior to yesterday's update, that was 100 long shots with different attachments. I think in total, the Bren needed like two or 300 total long shots, which was just absurd. It was actually terrible. And it was so bad that like, for me personally, it just put me off the entire atomic grind. I hit the ground running when Vanguard came out. I got all the weapons up to max level. I did most of the challenges in the game. And for most weapons, I was left with just the long shots. And they are not fun to go for. On your screen right now is going to be some footage of me going for long shots. And literally, it's just this. Like, you just go to one random portion of the map you aim down sights and you hope that there's somebody on the other side of the map also going for long shots and you basically just trade kills all game it's not a very fun challenge it actively goes against how you play the game or how you should play the game which is going for objectives trying to help your team and stuff like that you're just like camping in some random pointless part of the map holding down some random pointless line of sight because long shots require a ridiculous distance between you and your target for some reason i think they could have also just nerfed the range at which long shots are registered by the game but but, I mean, going from 100 long shots down to 50 is actually a very good change, in my opinion. So good that I'm actually considering going back for Atomic Camo. Uh, if you guys want to check this out right here, I've not really played at all during Season 2. Like, to be perfectly honest, like, the game has just lost me during Season 2. There hasn't been really any interesting updates. Uh, the game itself, I was just so burnt out after Season 1 and all the problems and just waiting for things to finally be fixed. And now they did this. And honestly, it makes me kind of want to go back and try to unlock atomic camo and i think this could be a good thing for the call of the franchise going forward because i feel as though they should realize by now that giving us an obscene amount of challenges is a problem when it comes to the weapons like other challenges are fine like if you want to make it so we have a hundred percenter that's cool hopefully we have that in call of duty games going forward but when you're going for something like dark matter or atomic or exclusion zone or whatever it is you want to call it in that year's particular product it's annoying when the challenges are ridiculously long and most of the time, they're not skill-based, they're just grind-based and luck-based. A lot of the challenges involve you getting lucky with the other team that you're going up against and hoping that they actually comply with the kind of challenge that you're trying to go for. Challenges that require people on the other team to do things for you, essentially, are not fun. Like, for example, going back to the challenge in Black Ops 4, where you had to shoot 10 different ruins that were mid-grab slam, you can't control that. You can't control that challenge whatsoever. It's not a challenge to you, it's just luck, basically, as to whether or not you're facing a ruin and they actually use their gravity slam right in front of you, and you happen to kill them within those, like, two frames that you can actually kill them during the animation. It's just, that's not a fun challenge to go for, and long shots are are another antiquated challenge that just do not make sense in Call of Duty anymore, at least in my opinion. If we go back to games like Black Ops 2, where we had to get like 10 long shots, I think it was, I mean, sure, there's a challenge, I suppose. Go camp for a game. But 100 was just obscene, 50 is a lot better, and it actually makes things like Atomic Camo a bit more easy to go for, and I use that word easy here because it should be easier than what it was, especially considering Call of Duty Vanguard is a one-year game, even less than that, technically, if you think about it and everything you do in this game is completely irrelevant when the next call of duty game comes out so why was the grind so ridiculous to begin with i mean obviously there should be some challenge there to it there should be something to actually have you grinding the game but not as much as what they were doing previously i mean 100 long shots for every weapon in the game sometimes 200 or even 300 long shots with certain attachments with certain weapons that was absurd that was just stupid and when it comes to games like modern warfare 2022 or roman numeral 2 whatever you want to call it i really do hope that they take this kind of idea to heart and when it comes to the challenges of that game realize that it's going to be a two-year game maybe make the challenges a bit longer a bit more grindy that's fine because it's a two-year game but for one-year games like vanguard 
I mean, 100 long shots in every single weapon, that is just pain. And even for the people that already have atomic or already did all these challenges, like, I think even they can agree, it's not fun going for those long shots. It's just painful and annoying, and by the end of it, you're not even happy about the camo you unlocked. You're more just relieved that the grind is finally over. Is that fun gameplay design? I would argue not, in my own personal opinion. But ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. It looks like long shots have been nerfed here within Call of Duty Vanguard. I may go back for atomic camo. I'm interested to see what you guys think about this. Should I go back to Vanguard? Should I make a return to the game? Should I start streaming it like daily again? Should I go back and finish up the grind that I said I would when the game first came out before we realized exactly what kind of game Vanguard was? Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. If this video gets about 3,000 likes, then I'll definitely go for it. If not, I'll still consider it, but we'll see. Uh, definitely interested to hear what you guys think down there in the comments. Thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.